and welcome. My name is Melissa Robinson, but subscribers can call me Missy. Today I have a bit of a hodgepodge video because last week I went to Kingman, Arizona and while I was there a lot of things happened but one of the main goals that I had while I was there was to go thrift shopping. In anticipation for this video I did not visit my local thrift stores and I ended up having dreams about going thrifting. <laughs> um, apparently suppressing that particular part of me meant that it had to come out somehow. But I just, I love thrifting. I especially love thrifting in Arizona. In addition to thrifting, I went ahead and tackled a surprise project. It was a surprise to me. My niece roped me in to do a little mural for her. So this video will also cover that actual project. But before we continue with this video, we need to get packing. Hello and welcome to Packing a Suitcase for Ladies, the advanced course. Today, we will be packing a suitcase for a week-long excursion. You will want to begin with a nice, sturdy suitcase like this one. A suitcase of this size should be plenty for a lady, and it will be easy for you to be carrying on your own as you travel. If you are practicing from the beginning and intermediate courses, you will already have mastered opening the suitcase. So, begin with that. Now that the suitcase is open, we can begin with packing. To begin, you will want to bring a silk handkerchief. This one is long enough to double as a scarf, and it can be easily wrapped around your hair for those wind-blown adventures. Next, you should bring some clothes. Of course, you will want to have some night things. Bring a hat as well. Don't bring your favorite hat as it might get lost, stolen, or destroyed in some way. And of course, you'll want to bring some sexy thigh-high boots so that you can go out on the town with, for an evening of frivolity. A small bag of makeup and toiletries is all you will need. Of course, you will be sure to want to bring a camera. This one comes cleverly packaged in its own carrying case. However, for ease of transportation, you will want to place this entire case into your suitcase as well. Additionally, to write those letters home, you will want to bring another wonderfully prepackaged portable typewriter so that you can tell your friends about all of your adventures without having to worry about penmanship. Next, you should bring along a book for light reading while you are traveling to your destination. As an option, you can bring along your own candlestick. It is wonderful in case your accommodations do not have sufficient lighting so that you may read late into the night. Additionally, it doubles as an amazing self-defense item. Speaking of self-defense, one should never leave home without a small travel bottle of poison. And of course, the distinguished traveling lady never leaves home without her grimoire. Now that you are all packed, please enjoy your travels and do so safely. If all of those items were not able to fit easily into your conveniently sized suitcase, please go back and re-watch the beginner and intermediate levels of this course. Thank you. 
All right, we just got done at our first thrift store and I guess a few months ago they had a fire and there was some internal damage and they've been closed for a while. So they opened back up, but only in the side yard. It's very windy here in Kingman, Arizona. It's kind of chilly and the wind makes it more chilly. So usually when I'm, when I'm perusing like through bins and stuff, I can feel a little bit of the fabric and be like, ooh, this feels like, a, this feels like cotton, this feels like linen, this feels like silk, this feels like wool, right? And I'll be able to just like pull something out based on touch alone. But it was cold enough that I didn't have as much uh, feelies in my fingies. <laughs> we were able to get this big bag for $3. So basically, going into this thrift store, Meg was like, they only accept cash unless you're spending $10 or more. And I'm like, no problem. I can spend $10 at a thrift store. And then I saw the pricing and I was like, this could be a problem. It's a really good deal. I'm not gonna lie, probably some of the things that I got were things that I wouldn't normally actually pick up at a thrift store, except for how cheap it was gonna be. So I was like, you may as well. So we're gonna go to another thrift store and um, from what Meg has told me, conditions will also be chilly in there, um, but it won't be windy. And so hopefully it won't be as cold. Here at the second thrift store, somebody's got this Lego desk in their dresser, no, dresser, in their truck. It's just like a little bear. Back in like 2010, my sister had this exact skirt. This store was called AJ's Goods and it had jewelry up front and then just tchotchkes. It was very loosely organized and it was really fun to wander around and look at all of the things. Although the lack of organization did make it a little overstimulating for me personally. Our final stop of the day was at the local Goodwill, where there were a lot of fun things, a lot of interesting things, and a lot of rodeo things. If you aren't that familiar with Arizona, the rodeo is a pretty big deal there. Growing up, I always got a few days off of school in February for rodeo days. When I pulled out this mustard blazer, I heard a rattle. Somebody left their Tic Tacs in it. I also found a few really cute dresses. They just weren't in my size. This plus size dress was gorgeous and there was this wonderful lacy, velvety, whimsigoth wonder dress. Absolutely gorgeous, but this one would have been too small for me. Look at this detail at the bottom. Just beautiful. Okay, I have all of my pieces separated based on what thrift store I got them at. So one of the first things that I picked up at the Ark is this white tank top. It has this little yellow-ish stain. So I'm probably going to need to dye it, but it is 100% silk and the way that this thing drapes is just gorgeous. I found these brown corduroy pants next. They are 100% cotton and they fit me very nicely. I also picked up this white 100% cotton blouse with these little embroidered details. I probably have too many white shirts in my wardrobe, but now I have another one. I picked up this oversized linen top. It is rather bleached in the back, but I wore it after I washed it pretty much all week as a nightshirt. It was heaven to sleep in. I bought this for my husband 
because I just thought the print was so fun. I don't know that he feels the same necessarily. He doesn't wear a lot of button-down shirts. Look at how cute with the vintage Aquanauts. That's what I'm going to call them because they're like astronauts, but for the water, that's what they look like to me. So Aquanauts makes sense. I think that's a kid's show though, so I don't know. I think it's fun to call them Aquanauts, and that's what I'm going to call them. But it's covered in the little Aquanauts and squids, and it's just 20,000 leagues under the sea. Fabulousness. I thought that the pattern of the knit on this sweater was really cute, so I picked this up as well. It is one of these roll-down cowl neck style sweaters that I think I'm going to give to my sister. I showed it to her, she seemed to like it. It does have a little damage on the collar. And additionally, I don't know what the fiber content is because the tag is completely washed out. And I could not look up this brand. So, I have no idea about this sweater. If my sister thinks it's cute, then she can have it. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> then I got a hold of this shirt with the fun embroidery all over it and like just the sleeves. I thought it was really fun and pretty and the fabric feels so soft. It is a cotton shirt. This is a 55% linen, 45 rayon button-down blouse that I thought was really cute. I also looked through the jewelry at the Ark and I picked up this really fun little piece. It just kind of reminded me of like some uh, Renaissance jewelry that you see in artwork. The second store we went to didn't have a whole lot in the way of clothing, which is usually what I'm most excited about when I go thrift shopping, but they still had some really cool things and I picked up some really cool stuff there. So the first thing I found outside in that front area that I showed was this bed skirt. It's a 100% cotton bed skirt and look at that crocheted lace all along the bottom. I would love to make something out of this. I might just use it as a bed skirt too. I don't know, but I think that I'm gonna make something out of this. I told myself that I wasn't gonna buy a project because I have too many projects, but I did it. <laughs> um, the next thing that I'm going to show you are two books that I got pretty gold leaf edged books. One of them is A Treasury of Edgar Allan Poe. And then I got this Oscar Wilde. I love Oscar. The next thing I found, I think it was at AJ's, was this Johnny Cash album. When I got home, and granted I didn't pull it all the way out. I might have pulled it out like this at the store. But when I got home, I pulled it all the way out. And you can see it's warped but I wonder if I might not still be able to play the songs past that warp so we're gonna go ahead and try that out in just a second because I am going to show you the earrings that I got I saw them at the beginning and I was like mm, maybe I'm not gonna get them but like at the end I was like I have to get them brass fish earrings. How cute! How cute are those? So they're just such cute brass fish earrings. I had to get them. We are ready to try this. I hope it works. Dropping it down. Played a railroad song with a stomp and beat. It works! Kind of slow and sweet, but the thing that knocked them off of their feet was I thought for a second there that that was like a scratch or something in the record or whatever you call it when it like keeps repeating the same line, but it, it just, it just repeats the line. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check side one because that's the side that is supposed to have I Walk the Line, which unfortunately is the first song, so that's going to be the one that is the most messed up, but maybe it'll play it okay. Maybe I'll skip 
because on this side the bumps go up but on this side the bumps go down so we'll see if that messes with it and how much it does I don't know I don't know if you can hear that but it makes like a little it's it just bumps against this mechanism when it comes around just a little bit so we'll see how that affects the play it's not bad it's playing the song all right that's not bad I want the line Finally, we went to Goodwill and I got a bunch of pants for my kids because they are constantly wearing through their pants. I also got some pants for me today. Like, I guess the theme for this thrift, tri thrift trip was pants because I don't usually get a lot of pants, but I found these red 100% silk pants. I love them so much. So excited. So stoked to have these. Maybe a little like Miriam from Indiana Jones closet cosplay moment <laughs> went through my mind. Then I found these 100% linen trousers. I'm not sure about the color. I'd have to try it with some different uh, pieces from my wardrobe, but I figure I can always dye it. And then this 100% cotton skirt, but it's just a tiered blue skirt. That was the thrift haul portion of this video. Let me know what your favorite find was in the comments down below. But if you need a little time to think about that, don't worry. We still have more to this video because remember, I also painted a mural. So here's that. This is the wall in question. My niece had been pestering her mom to paint a jungle mural here, and with permission, we went to the hardware store that morning to pick out colors. She specifically wanted something that would make her feel like she could walk into the scene. So to create depth and make sure that the space in between leaves and foliage was filled in, we began with a dark to light gradient before beginning to add said foliage. This first day, my niece and I worked together. I would outline a leaf or a set of leaf shapes in paint and she would fill it in. Then I would go in and add some detail and dimension to the foliage. This strategy worked very well for us and by the end of this first day, I felt pretty confident that we would be able to finish with just a few hours the next morning. Which was a good thing because that would be all the time I would have before needing to head home. However, life had different plans. After getting all this work done, I got food poisoning from a restaurant that knocked me completely off my feet for an entire day. However, not wanting to skip town and leave the project unfinished, on the day we were to set off for home, I was well enough to take an hour, and between my sister-in-law, my husband, and myself, we were able to get it to the point that you can see here in this portion. 
So, despite setbacks and against time constraints, we were able to band together and make something my niece is very happy with. For me, this was also a signpost of growth. Because I really hate asking for help of any kind, and I felt like I did a pretty good job of accepting and asking for help given the situation. I additionally tend to be very exacting and controlling of artistic projects, which makes it even harder for me to ask and accept help in those situations. But because this was to be an activity I did not just for, but also with my niece, I let go of a lot of control and expectation that I would generally have held on to from the start. And then to really finish it off, my amazing sister-in-law went in and filled in all of the little gaps with more foliage. It was much needed. And then we headed home. And that is how I painted a mural for my niece while I was on vacation. If you've made it this far, congratulations. This is the end of the video. I definitely appreciate you watching this whole thing. It was a lot of fun to put together and it has been an adventure for sure. Um, if you liked anything that you saw in this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you would like to see more weird skits, maybe more thrift hauls. I also do sewing. I also do art. I also do home improvement projects. I don't know. I do a lot of stuff. But just subscribe if you want to see it. And then I can see you in the next video. Thank you!